Butler chucks it up for three. Under duress that time, he was heavy with it. James Anderson escorts it out of bounds. Sixers get it back down, 7.92 seconds to play. Can be a bad time to look at driving basket. You don't need a three. You can get a foul and try to score with the clock stop. It'll be good, but who knows what's going to happen with the way the Sixers have been shooting free throws this quarter. Pause for three. Got it! Nice play. Great execution. Spencer, the Sixers' best three-point shooter, his first three of the night. Give him 17, and the Sixers down four. Big shot there, Mark. It's a two-possession game as a result, with three possessions worth of time left. Ridenauer. Taken by Turner. Here are the Sixers down four, a minute to play. LaVoy Allen gave it up, and Hawes is thinking, shoot it, big fella. And it whistles over everybody's head out of bounds for the Sixers' 25th turnover. Now we're in the midst of a 20-second timeout. Type of play that gets Karan Butler a look, either with he and Mayo or Luke Rittenauer and Karan Butler. Butler has been devastating tonight with 34 points. 13 of those points here in the final quarter. Evan Turner is on him. Here's Butler against Turner, and all hands are on deck, and yeah. a traveling yeah. violation on Karan Butler. He did, shuffle, he did switch pivot feet on that one. Another point of emphasis this year. Absolutely. Sixers will have it back. Nearly 13 seconds separating the clocks, but they got to look for something quick. They got to go right now. They're, they're taking their time. Pause for three. Woo! Yes! They were taking their time because they were executing perfectly on the weak side. And about a four-second difference between the clocks, so you don't have to foul. No, sir. But you need the rebound here, Mark. Carter Williams got to get back into play and stop you know, trying to sell a foul here. They're not going to call it. Ilya Soba, the Butler for three. Oh. And down it goes for Karan Butler, who's got 37 points. He has scored the last 11 for Milwaukee. Man, tough, tough play there. Still have time. Got to get something quick to the basket. Great action for the Sixers to play before to get Spencer Hall to another wide open look. But Butler with ice in his veins from the corner again. Puts three right in the mug of every Sixer. Got to think of three and it's got to be quick. And you got to look for a steal on the inbounds if Larry Drew doesn't time out in advance. Hollis Thompson of the game for the Sixers. Turner finds Hawes. Turner going for the quick two, and he got it. So now the Sixers have to foul down two. Absolutely. Larry Drew going to call timeout and advance the ball. And now the Bucks have it out of the timeout. They get it to Ridenauer, Luke Ridenauer. Historically a very good free throw shooter. And that will be communicated. Good job there, Mike Carter-Williams. Oh! Well, there's life now. And the Sixers still have two timeouts remaining. Absolutely. You got make or miss. You see Brett Brown up telling the referee, make or miss, we're going to call a timeout. So that should leave them with well over three and a half seconds. Make or miss. 3.9 now. Hollis Thompson, Spencer Hawes. Maybe Anderson goes to the corner and then get a, a double to bring him back up. He's going to circle off. Sixers need a three. Hawes for the tie. Yes! <laughs> 1.7 to go. The Bucks with a heave. And we are going to <laughs> overtime. They've done it again. Talk about execution. You talk about a pirouette for a three. And this is a seven-footer, folks. Spencer Hall, who had missed all his three-point attempts before the fourth quarter. Unleashing three lethal ones right here. Catches it right in front of the bench. Larry Drew yelling at him at all, probably falling out of bounds. Spencer Hall, great play. Right here, Gary Neal all over him, no defense.
Spence just looks over him. I'm taller than you, and I can prove it. Pause. All three of his three-pointers here in the guts of the game. 